got back from doing a little bit of disking the two summer fellow fields we have this year for the organic stuff hit them with the disc real quick that went really fast it's amazing i was going like there's those two fields don't have if any rocks on them <coughs> so i was going pretty much <coughs> close to seven miles an hour the whole time just going cruising so i'll get the manure spreader out probably be spreading some manure hopefully next couple weeks here at some point here got a little bit more hay to do yet got the highway ditches motor and i just gotta go rake them sometime yeah we finally got the combine washed a little bit just a quick job mainly for just the yellow parts some of the black paint and in places but you know get that old grime off there from 2018 and 2019 did a pretty quick wash job on it i still gotta clean the windows up a little bit i i, I forgot i did clean the cab up a bit already i forgot i did that a few months ago already i mean it's still got we got a little bit of you might be able to see it in the glare a little bit but it's got a little bit of you know hard water spots on it a little bit on this side more or less the side was in the sun we were washing but just some hard water spots but uh, just getting all that old grime off and everything yeah <clears throat> we do have one found one bearing we have one bearing or not the bearings are out it's not anything here it's the one idler sprocket here comes off the clutch for the feeder house here that call the collars came loose and we're down a little shaft, and so we gotta get new parts there. We're gonna change the bearings too. The bearings seem fine, but we're gonna kind of change that up a little bit. So, um, still gotta change oil on it. We didn't have oil filters for it, so couldn't change oil on them. Hain season is winding down, but we gotta do a lot of bale rowing yet, haul some bales yet, and I might go look at a hay trailer here. That's for sale. I might go look at that real quick at some point here if I have time. Looks like a nice little trailer, but I gotta go look at it first. See you once though. Oh, just got back from hauling a load of grain. A load of Durham. Slowly doing that. Time allows it mainly calling a load out in the morning. We load it in the evening and we take out a load then. Whoever gets up first. What? I'm gonna go rake highway ditches. Gotta eat something first and then. Go rake those darn ditches, that'll take me a few hours. Yep, one of the few times I wear my seatbelt. Doing ditches. Be safe. Say people are sick. You know how I know? It's because you need no look no further than the highway ditches. That's as far as you need to look. That's how you know people are sick. America is great. It really is. 
so many stupid people in this, this country that it pisses the person off is what it does. But I know there's millions of people just like me that don't say too much, but boy, we're pissed off. That's all I can say. We're ticked. That's to say the least. bought something. Not good. I'm at a crawl right now, 15 miles an hour. Felt my hubs on the trailer and uh, two of them are hot. So... I'm just speeding up to an intersection up here. I'm gonna pull off and I'm gonna wait, so. Yep, Drop the trailer at the intersection down here. So there's a place kind of to pull off, park, vehicles can park. Uh, guy said he's gonna take care of it. He'll, he'll uh, get it fixed and he'll deliver it. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured some, something would happen with those wheel bearings. That's always the darnest thing. Newer used equipment. Darn wheel bearings. Don't know. I know snow is bad. The past three winters, you know, snow is bad on everything, especially that stuff. I know we've replaced a couple wheel bearings on some of our equipment the past three years just from the snow. The snow is so bad. But then I checked them when I did. I, I was, I was, I was going to do that. several miles down the road going a good speed and, and then uh, go out and feel the wheel bearings and, yeah, that's all it takes anyway, it, it's a nice hay rack trailer it's all 15 bales with it 10 ton running gear couple welds here and there but a little slight sway in the, the hitch but 
the tie rods are tight though and uh, I think it's just either the pin is the bolt is worn on the hitch or it's reamed a little bit so that's why it has a little bit of swell still going pretty good you know between you know 35 30 35 miles an hour it's pretty decent yet told me pretty good uh, um, heavy heavy tires on there pretty much truck tires on there so thanks for watching everybody please comment rate and subscribe and yeah a little bit of a frustrating day would have been almost home by now with the trailer would have been almost home The wait. We won't. I don't think we'll be hauling any bales. We might start hauling manure. So it's gonna happen first. So, you know. plus we gotta row some bales too, anyway. So I mean, with this, we're not short of work to do. I mean, we still got our hay trailers. I just wanted to use this trailer to make bale hauling more efficient. And I'm kind of future proofing myself too with this trailer too. Well, Dad just got back with the blue pickup fixed up. But on a used rear end over in Valley City had one so but on a different rear end see how she works for a while <laughs> let's go so hi kitty